Hello and welcome to the CA ArcServe Backup Technical Video Series Integration with CA ArcServe D2D. CA ArcServe Backup R16 integrates with CA ArcServe D2D R16. It manages the CA ArcServe D2D servers from a central location, creates CA ArcServe backup sessions from CA ArcServe D2D backup data, backs up CA ArcServe D2D backup sessions stored locally on CA ArcServe D2D servers to CA ArcServe backup media, backs up CA ArcServe DDD backup sessions stored remotely on proxy servers and remote shares to CA ArcServe backup media, can store CA ArcServe backup sessions on tape media, disk, and network shares, recover CA ArcServe DDD backup data at file, folder, granularity from CA ArcServe backup media, and recover Microsoft SQL Server database and Microsoft Exchange Server mailboxes at application level granularity from CA ArcServe backup media. In the next few slides, we will walk you through how the integration process works. Let's start out with CA ArcServe Backup Server with devices and a DDD server running scheduled DDD backups. Step 1. Install the Windows Client Agent on the DDD server. Note, for DDD Backup, Windows Client Agent license is not required. Step 2. The DDD server is added to the Backup Manager source tree automatically from Discovery. Step 3. Create a backup job on the backup server, selecting D2D from the D2D branch of the backup source tree. Also, any supported combination of backup destination devices are supported. Step 4. Backup job runs and validates the credentials and encryptions on the D2D server. And Step 5. The backup job backs up the files contained in the last D2D backup. Step 6. Backup data is written to an ArcServe backup device, as if the files came directly from disk. Remember, the backup source is the DDD backup location. Therefore, there is no load on the production DDD server during this process. Let's take a closer look at how to access the integration. From the CA ArcServe Backup Home View, select Quick Start and then Backup. We are taken to the Backup Start tab. From this tab, you can select settings like Normal Backup, Deduplication Backup, and you can enable Synthetic Full Backup as well as Staging. For this example, we'll leave it as a Normal Backup. Clicking on the Source tab will take us to our next screen. From the Source tab, we can click on the plus next to CA ArcServe DDD servers. This will display all the nodes on the network that we have CA ArcServe DDD loaded on. By right-clicking on a node, we can manage CA ArcServe DDD for that node. In this example, we will select to launch DDD. Now, the CA ArcServe DDD manager is loaded for the selected node. From here we can manage CA ArcServe DDD for this node. This means we can change DDD settings, run DDD backups, and even restores. To close out of the DDD manager, we will click the upper right X. Now we are back at the CA ArcServe Backup Source tab. From here we're going to back up the DDD data for the node ArcServe Master and send it to tape. To select the ArcServe Master node, simply click inside the green square to the left of ArcServe Master. Now that the ArcServe master node has been selected, we can move on and select the time for this backup to start. To do this, click on the Schedule tab. Like all CA ArcServe backup jobs, we can schedule this job to run at regular intervals or to run just once. In this example, we will run this job only once. We will now need to set the destination. To do this, we will select the Destination tab. From the Destination tab, we can select the device that we will backup to. This destination can be disk or tape. In this example, we will select tape. Now, with the destination selected, we can submit the job. To submit the job, left-click on the Submit icon. Security and Agent Information pop-up appears. In this example, simply click OK. We can now set the time for this job to run, and we can also give the job a new name. We will leave the default for both and click OK. Once the job is submitted, we will be taken back to the job status screen where we can see the backup running. When the backup is done, a pop-up will display the job information such as how much data was backed up, the number of files, elapsed time, as well as the average throughput. We can either click OK or wait 30 seconds for this pop-up to disappear. CA ArcServe Backup has now backed up D2D data to tape, where this can be stored offline, which can free up disk space. This presentation is now complete. Thanks for watching. And for more information about CA ArcServe Backup, visit arcserve.com slash products.